terracotta pot. It's broken, don't know what to do with it. Join me and I'm going to show you how this terracotta pot was actually part of my mosaic statue. In this upcoming tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to make tiles out of your terracotta pot. We all have broken terracotta pots around and they become landfills, so let's upcycle them. I'm going to be using these compound nippers. Now, compound nippers are really my go-to. You can use any other nippers as long as they are, as you can see, a straight edge. That is the edge there for the nipping. So, Compound nippers, any action that you do here, so that cutting action there is actually doubled and sometimes tripled here. So it gives you a lot more strength, which means you don't have to have very strong hands. Usually terracotta pots aren't fired very, very high, so they can actually be quite soft to cut. So they're going to be really easy. So stay tuned, watch and learn more. This is the terracotta pot I'm going to be using, which I found in my garden. As you can see, it's broken. So I'm going to put one piece to the side and I'm going to use that small little piece. I've got my compound nippers and I'm just going to put them on the side and snap. I've broken it. The terracotta is quite soft and I just pop the nipper on the side and it breaks. Again, just on the side, not the whole nipper all the way through, but just halfway over the tile and it snaps quite easily. Remember I was saying before that terracotta is actually quite soft. Um, most of the planters haven't been fired that high, so they're actually quite easy to cut. However, these compound nippers make it really easy. You can see I'm holding the tile between my fingers and that way the tiles don't go everywhere. And you can see how thick that tile is. It's nearly half an inch thick. And these compound nippers make it so easy to cut. I've got these roughly into squares. I'm going to put them onto a container just to keep things sorted and I'm going to cut them smaller again. This time I'm going to cut it in half, snap and then in half again. So I've actually made a quarter so they're rather tiny. And a lot of people worry about cutting their hands with these nippers. If you're careful, you won't cut your hands. The other thing I'm doing is I'm cutting these tie, um, the terracotta on its side so we can actually get the textured surface showing. So this really thick square is now being cut in half and the tile is now around about three mil, a quarter of an inch thick instead of half an inch thick. This time I'm going to be cutting them smaller again. So you can see how tiny you can get these tiles. And these are some of the tiles that I actually used in my mosaic. This time I'm going to cut the tile on an angle and these are so I can get around those uh, tricky places so you can keep cutting your tiles cutting this terracotta to make lots of different tiles and you can see how small I was able to cut these I hope you enjoyed that and now that you realize broken terracotta pots no longer go into the rubbish, they can be used for tiles in your mosaics. If you liked what you saw, could you please hit that like button? Remember to subscribe and ring that bell. I'm Cheryl Ham Woodlock from Homemade Studio saying bye.
With this terracotta pot, I'm going to show you and demonstrate how I actually cut it up. I'm going to use compound nippers. These are compound nippers. They are nippers that give double the strength or nearly triple the strength of any cutting action here is get double the um, cutting grip. <laughs> nippers. I'm also, I'm also going to show you how to use a hammer and high. No, yeah. 